tangible. You can see it and you can smell it. Since ancient times, people have believed that volcanoes like Erta Ali lead to a blazing world of the dead. That the underworld is a realm of fire. This belief links all the gates of hell. One of the reasons why people from antiquity up to modernity have thought of hell as being a hot place under the earth is because when we open up the earth, when we look into the earth, we often see heat. And we see volcanoes and we see rivers of lava. So if hell is down there, it's got to be a pretty hot, stifling place. No one can be certain what really exists 4,000 miles beneath the surface. It remains one of our greatest unsolved mysteries. But scientists believe that in the center of the earth, there is a white hot cauldron of molten iron, 1,400 miles thick and nearly as hot as the surface of the sun, hot enough to melt steel. To those who believe in hell, this uncertainty of what exists below is evidence that hell is beneath us. Personally, I believe that hell right now is in the center of the earth. Scientific evidence points toward fire and pressure and extreme temperature in the center of the earth, and it parallels what the Bible has to say about hell. For believers, the gates of hell link modern mysteries of our planet with ancient mysteries of the afterlife. But today, most people imagine hell not as a fiery realm under the earth, but as a spiritual dimension eternally cut off from God. Even so, what links every interpretation, every sight, every gate, is fear. I think it would be difficult to overestimate how important fear of hell is for some people. The idea of hell is something that's deep inside of us and it sort of feeds off of our most primal fears. When we imagine the afterlife, we don't know really what's going to happen to ourselves. We think about all the potentially horrible things that can happen. This fear of the unknown connects our modern beliefs with the oldest stories of the underworld. Different cultures have different names for the place, but I think the similarities between these places really shows our human primal fears. It's such a human question. That is, what happens when we die? Is that the end of it? Is that all there is? As old as religion itself is the universal fear that our actions in life will determine our fate after death. Every single one of us are, are going to pass away. And we all know that in the end, we're going to face God and we are going to choose heaven or hell. But my message for people is let's not fear God and let's just simply do good, avoid evil, and you have nothing to fear. In the 21st century, hell continues to be fueled by the belief that evil will ultimately be overthrown and banished forever. An enormous appeal of hell is a deep longing for everything to be put right so that it ends in the way that it ought to end. There is a war going on, a very real war between good and evil, and good will prevail. Hell still is a powerful place. It still has a spot in our culture, in our belief system, and it's very much a place that is still going to live on for many more generations. We're not quite through with hell yet.